Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next live attack video. And this is a series that I want to be able to do, you know, once a week at least. Um, it's been a while since the last one, and uh, really, you might have noticed I'm not taking on the best bases sometimes. And kind of the problem is, it just, I can't for some reason have that same level of focus when I'm attacking, uh, when I'm, you know, talking at the same time, and when I'm recording. It, it just it adds an extra difficulty for me so it's going to be difficult to do them in arranged wars um, I can still show other people attacking live and um, this war I mean the bases aren't very good this base we're looking at it's pretty, you know it's it's okay I guess um, but I'm gonna try to do my best to show bases that are good but aren't like in a in arranged war when my attack is extremely important because I don't know you know I, I don't want to sacrifice my performance in war to try to show it on YouTube. So I do apologize for that because it kind of lowers the quality of the live attacks a little bit. But I think either way, um, it's still a series that you guys like to see. And uh, let me know if you want me to continue doing these in the comments after you see this one. Um, so that'll help me uh, kind of make my decision because I think I want to do these a lot more often than I have been doing and uh, make this a regular series like the base destruction in any other type of video. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the plan for this one. Uh, like I said, not the best base, but still can mess up here if I don't do everything uh, as it should. So the plan is basically this. I'm going to start in with a baby dragon right around there, uh, a Valk right here to take out these two. That'll be important later on uh, for my miners. Um, so the baby dragon, let that go down. Uh, I'm going to drop down my queen right like that. Might need a, uh, actually I'll probably drop the baby dragon higher up, probably like right here, instead of, not right there, uh, more towards that army camp area. And then I'll drop down my queen uh, as she is right there. Uh, the idea is to get her to walk down south, and actually one thing, I'm, I'm oversimplifying this, let's go back a ways. You know, let's just start over, okay, sorry about this. Um, I'm going to drop down the baby dragon here, the Valk here. I'm going to drop down a giant right here with four healers on the giant. And the one cannon right here can't target it. So the idea is that the queen will come in, uh, start taking stuff out. These three point defense will be on the giant. And then as soon as the queen starts taking damage from this cannon as she walks over south, um, the healers will switch on to her because she's the 25 uh, registered troop space while the giant's only five. So uh, the, the healers will switch onto her and it'll be a normal queen walk, but it'll just save me from having to use like a rage or something uh, that I don't want to use. So that should go okay the, as long as I drop the giant in the right place. Uh, she'll head down south. Uh, as that starts to progress, I'll probably come in at some point with another Valk right here for a funnel. Maybe like a wizard here, just make a nice wide funnel. And as soon as this cannon locks onto my queen, I have uh, some wall breakers to open it up right here going to have to be precise because I want to make sure they target the right wall um, and let open up the compartment with the cannon and that elixir collector. I have a jump spell which I'll drop right like that to get into the inferno and the queen. I have my king, an extra like four Valks and a rage and I'll send uh, all that up the gut. Hopefully the healers will still be alive. I don't see why they won't. I'll send all that up with my poisons for the CC troops. Have them get in there. Hopefully get the inferno tower. Uh, the queen, the CC troops, and kind of the those kind of compartments with the expos and stuff. Get most of that taken out. I do have like a few hogs, which I might sprinkle in at the bottom here. Uh, at that point, I want to, because uh, we talked about last video, you know, let, letting troops tank for each other. Um, that's why it's important to get these two buildings down, because I'm going to send in my miners probably right on this, uh, this barracks, and uh, I might like two finger drop them on in. Get them going like this, so they'll probably like meet up with my kill squad at the same point. I should get some better value for my spells. I have three heals, so I'll probably just heal them all throughout the base here. And hopefully they don't hit any uh, trouble. That single inferno shouldn't be too much of an issue. I do have quite a few miners. Uh, so if everything goes right, they should get in there, uh, take out the rest of the base, and this should be a three star. So um, as long as the beginning goes okay, that's the kind of technical part. I think if the beginning goes good, I can kind of overpower the base and get the three star. So let's go into clash right now. Uh, make sure I have all my troops and everything and then get the attack started. Okay, uh, jump, rage, poisons, the heals. 
uh, heroes, got all that good miners and stuff. Uh, looks pretty good. I do have some minions just for the top of the base to clear out some trash to help my miners stay inside the base. So that's another thing I should have mentioned, uh, but not too big of a deal. And then everything else looks uh, just, just awesome. Okay, and the heroes and all that, spells and stuff. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and get this going. Uh, you can see this war is not going to be that close. Um, they're mainly just two-starring us, so another one of these farming wars, but hopefully we'll have some better wars in the future. Uh, number 16 is the base we were looking at, and uh, just got to check the cannon range. If I drop it right on that wall, the giant that is, uh, drop it like right by these two buildings, I uh, should be able to get it in there, get the healers on it, and uh, they should switch on to the queen at the right time if everything goes to plan, but sometimes that doesn't work out. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, just one last time, got to mentally go through it. Um, the minions, the baby dragon, the Valk. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yep, everything looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, here we go. Let's get the minion started first. Minion, minion, minion. Uh, the baby dragon here. The Valk right there. Let's get the giant going. And the four healers on that. And here's our queen. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. Uh, anyway, that looks good. Uh, hopefully they'll, everything will switch on as soon as the queen starts getting targeted. Right there, yep, the healers switch, and we're in business. The giant should go down. Uh, that's the plan. Uh, let the queen make her way down south. I'm going to drop in the Valk in just a moment. Uh, yeah, right here, Valk, wizard, one, uh, one, two, three. Open that up. Um, <clears throat> send in these uh, Valks, king. It's a Lava Hound in the CC. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. The Queen will probably get stuck on that. Uh, send in these two Hogs. And let's get the Miners going. Let's poison the Queen. Uh, pop the King's ability now. Alright, that's good. We'll drop the first heal in just a moment. We'll get the King as well with that heal. So we'll get good value uh, for that heal. The Queen should be fine. We can drop in one Wizard to help her out. Um, let's see, everything's looking good. The miners are making their way on through. Uh, we'll drop this next heal right there. Uh, yep, that, there are a few uh, pups up here. We can go ahead and poison these. They're more important because uh, the damage can add up over time from just a few lava pups. Uh, looks like hard to tell how many miners we have left. Uh, we'll go ahead and heal this group right here. I think we actually are a little low on miners. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, if they get that inferno though, that would might be enough. Uh, oh, I still have six miners left. I have no idea how that happened. Uh, wow, they should get in there and get that Inferno though. Uh, we might be a little bit short on time. We'll drop a wizard up here. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. I just couldn't get them all down for whatever reason. Uh, let's see. We got like one miner up there. We'll drop in this archer. This might be close. Let's get the queen's ability going. I think we got this though. There are a few miners left up. The queen's closing in. Let's get a wizard. No builders huts, of course. I check for that. Always got to check for builders huts. This is going to be close, but I think we've got it. Uh, the queen is going to have to go through a few walls, uh, but I do have the two wizards. They're both closing in. Um, if they get that storage, which I think they will, I don't want to speak too soon. Come on, get in there. Uh, just need that wizard to lock on. The queen's converging. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is going to be a three-star. Wow, that was way too close. Um, and I could not forgive myself if I didn't three-star that base. Not the best base, but it just goes to show, you know, even the tough bases, a small mistake like not deploying all your miners can screw you up. Uh, well, you know what, we'll add an, another live attack. I'm not going to make you guys watch the replay of that. I think uh, if it was, a, you know, a good attack on a good base, I'd show it. But let's take a look at the end of this one. Uh, looks like we got Kratos Rising going in. And... Uh, I'll give myself a little woo right there. Um, but he crushed this base. I wish I could have shown the whole attack. I was hoping I might. Um, actually, I don't know if this is going to be a three-star. 
that last lava put, or last lava hound did bust. Yeah, nice try to Kratos rising. Uh, so you guys got an attack and a half, but you know if you call my attack an attack, maybe you know you add these two up and it makes one whole attack. So got you guys at least an attack, maybe like one point two attacks, depending on how you rate these bases and how how much of this attack was actually shown. So you guys got your money's worth for clicking on this video. <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching though. Um, we'll go ahead and give a nice try. So this one became a little bit of a live uh, on War Day video, um, but nice try to Kratos Rising. Anyway though, hope you guys enjoyed that live attack and uh, like I said at the beginning, let me know if you like the live attack series in the comments and if you want me to continue the series. And uh, one more time, I cannot quite bring myself to do these on a uh, an actual ranged war yet. It's just, it you know, I don't want, because it can cause lag in my device, you know, when it's, you know, mirroring on my computer there's all kinds of various things that just make it difficult um so it's going to be mainly the kind of the farming wars but i'll try to do the better bases from the farming wars this wasn't the best base but hopefully some better bases in the future so anyway let me know uh but thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video I have some great stuff planned uh for the next few days so stay tuned see you guys later bye sectatron out